Hello guys. So today we're going to take a look at uh, C47 I built. Uh, I built a version that's sitting by the Flank Flughafen by the uh, Berlin Airlift Monument. It's called the Berlin Skytrain. I had a special order of the decals and stuff. Um, I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And ring that bell when you want to see my new videos. So today I'm going to take a look at the C-47 Skytrain from Trumpeter. This is kit 02828. It was a really nice kit I thought. It had 12, 12, 12 trees of grey plastic, a lot of parts. Uh, it had metal landing gear, and the wheels. It had a big tree of photo etch. And so a lot of small parts here. It had a, a, a film for the instrument panel. And it had this nice big uh, decal sheet, which I didn't use much of. I used two of the, the stars for the invasion stripes, but I cut the invasion stripes out for the wings. And then for the sides, I used two of these as well. It has colors from Mr. Hobby, Vallejo, Model Master, Tomia, and Humbro. And the paint chart here. Which I didn't go by any way as well. But you can see it here. A lot, I mean, so there, there, there was the film. And the... Uh, I had all these little... I label everything what I paint so I know what it was. <laughs> There's a lot of detail, fire extinguishers and everything, seat belts, seat belts were included. That's missing often. The, all this interior detail, which you can't really even see anymore. I left, I left the seats out because this is a I built a plane from the Berlin Airlift, and it had a it carried cargo. It didn't have seats. And I was actually at the Berlin Airlift Monument to take as many notes as I could of the colors, even though the colors at the monument are really, really badly faded. But then I went back and. Looked at what kind of colors they used back then. And um, it had a very, a really nicely detailed engine. This is like the inside of the uh, wheel. Under the wing. Like here. This is part of the engine. And the engines go on behind that. But this, this goes back into the wheel well. This part here goes back into the wheel well. And you have the wheels. And these are, I said these are metal parts or plastic. It can be either one. Pretty sure I used the metal ones because the weight is a thing. I, I had problems. I built a. Well, I'm working on a, a Folkwolf 200C, and uh, somehow the um, one of the landing gear already got broke off, and it's not even finished yet. So I got to repair that. I had to look here at the airport, uh, at the monument, colors for this stuff because it doesn't show. Well, it says silver, but it wasn't silver. At least the one at the airport wasn't silver. Because here it just says the whole thing is silver. But the, at the airport it was like this. The front was silver and the back was gray. And here as well. 
it didn't show any color for this. It was. I'm not even looking at it. All right, here now you can see. Here was silver. It was gray. And this was like a really suited black color. And then you know you have some detail here on the bottom. Like I built mine for the Berlin airlift. I special ordered the decals. I took some. I took notes from the. I took notes from the uh, the aircraft sitting at the monument. But I couldn't see the top of the wings there. I couldn't get up high enough. I could see a little bit here on the back. I could see here, I could see the tail, but I couldn't see the front. So I went on a Google satellite, a Google Maps, and went on a satellite image, and took the rest from there, what I could see here. And it looked like it was a lighter green than this, so I used the European green that they used, like on the, on some of the uh, bombers they used in Europe, they had well, I don't know if it was just in Europe, but on some of the bombers they had the olive drab, and on the wings they had a darker green. But it didn't look like a darker green, it looked like a lighter green. So we have here the darker green, and here the lighter green, and then up the gray too. The flaps were gray. Don't know why. I'm guessing they were some type of replacements or something. But all the flaps were gray in here too. Mm, but the... Uh, the, the aircraft that set the Berlin, the air, the airlift monument, is really faded. It's almost yellow. But, so I went with the original olive drab. Um, I special ordered the decals from the states. It was the website. Had to order the nose art. The Berlin train, which is really cool. That's the nose art. I mean, that's this is the aircraft at the at the monument. I also had to order these uh, the warning stripes and these window markings and the tail number. But the stars came from the kit. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, I'm missing here. This antenna fell off. I have no idea where it went, so I have to try to find another one somewhere. I might have one in an old kit or something. But I think it turned out pretty good. There's a lot of interior interior detail. You can see here in the back some of it. This light blue thing is some kind of uh, like a, a board fire extinguisher you can see there. The stuff here on the inside, there's a lot of detail here inside, but you can't see any of it. And the uh, the cockpit's pretty detailed too. If I can get the light good enough to see here. It's hard to get any kind of shot with the camera from here. Especially when this thing is really... No. Let's bring this Ricklish. Oh, but here. Let's see. Come on, clear up. There, we can see the seat and the seat belts here. And the, the pilot side looks just about the same. Here we can see a little bit. 
the controls. And the engines. The engines were nice. I went on the internet. Because if I, if I remember right, these were right cyclones. I can't remember exactly. But I took the paint. I, I took a couple of diagrams off the internet from the engines so I could get the, the colors on the engines right. Because the right engines, and there was another one. What was the other one? Uh, well, they were they, they they had different colors, so I use those diagrams too on all my all the all the kits I build. So the engines you can tell the difference between the different engines. But I think it was a it was a really good kit. It had a lot of detail, and it can also be made into the uh, civilian version. And I'd say I do recommend it. it. It's not cheap though. It's about seventy, sixty or seventy. But it was a special project, so I spent a little extra. I spent a lot extra on it, actually. Well, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching.